Welcome back to Terra Firma Create. Yep, that's right, we're back. And I did a little bit of work off camera here, uh, mainly for the thumbnail, I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> I made this little tool rack, I replaced these with spruce logs just so that they uh, looked a little bit more solid. I realized I forgot to include those in the thumbnail though. Bit of a shame, it's literally just this, but you know what, it's fine. Uh, today what I want to do is I want to start off by doing a bit of a move. Yeah, I know we made these tools in the previous episode, but what I want to do is I want to move away from this place as soon as possible, because otherwise we're going to get way too many items to store them here, or to transfer over rather, and it'll just be a massive pain. So I want to start off today's episode by moving over to the place that we discovered in the previous episode. Yeah, so it looks like the journey map is actually loading. And over here, I believe it was, we found a really, really nice lake. Uh, it's not claystone anymore, like it's claystone over here. It becomes not claystone and I believe andesite. It's a lot nicer of a stone color. There's a few ores around here. It's just an overall really nice spot. So I kind of want to move down to over here. So yeah, that'll be the first goal for today's episode. Now, that might be easier said than done, depending on how this works. I'm not 100% sure how it does work, but um, let me just test something real quick. I want to see if barrels can still carry items because we can actually take barrels without them like overburdening us, right? No, okay, they're only for liquids now it seems. All right, yep, that's fair. You used to be able to store items in them for some reason, but yeah, I guess you can't do that anymore. Hmm. Okay. Well, what about vessels? Can we take if we seal these vessels here and then mine these? It seems like we can just grab them, right? Oh, nope, we're overburdened. Yep, there it is. Okay. And I can't chuck this on my back. All right. You can still kind of jump with this, but it, it, it'll be a massive pain to go all that way like that. Uh, so we can only... Mm, we can only take one large vessel, I think. If we grab another one, as soon as we do, it's overburdened. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, transferring all these items. I thought it might be a lot easier than it used to be, but it's not really, is it? We might have to make just a ton of these smaller vessels here. They old, they, they old, they old four items per. Okay, we have a decent amount of clay. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire all four of these pit kilns up with vessels. All right, well, I got all three of the pit kilns going and I've just been doing a little bit of organizing of our items. So we've got a few vessels already and we have tons of them cooking up over there, which we'll need vessels anyway. So it's like not the biggest deal in the world that we're going to have tons of them. Uh, in terms of other items we want to take, I don't think it's worth taking a barrel. Barrels are pretty cheap to make now that we've got wood. Uh, I'd like to... T oh, it's, of course it's raining. I'd like to take as much wood as we can, but, you know, we're not going to be able to take all of that stuff. Obviously got to take the ingots, ingot molds, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I don't know. We could probably leave stuff like stone tools, just the general cheap stuff, right? We don't really need to bring that. But for, you know, most of the valuable things, I want to bring most of that. One. Bah! Oh, no, okay, it goes zero, bah, all right, cool. <laughs> we got a bunch more empty vessels here, which are too hot to open, but I might be able to cool them down in here. Okay, so I got this vessel uh, full of vessels, funnily enough. Uh, so I can seal that and I can take that with me. If I don't seal these ones, can I take more than one vessel? Oh, I can take more than one large vessel with me. Okay, I'm definitely going to do that and just dump everything in here. Um, because these large vessels, you know... They take a decent a bit. They take a decent bit to make. You gotta leave them in the thing for a while, so that that'll be quite handy to just kind of be able to bring those. And we can bring these. And I'm gonna fill up the rest of my inventory with logs. I think. Yeah, I think that's probably the best bet. So let's take as many of these logs as I possibly can, which I should be able to take all of them actually. Yeah. Okay. Nice. And I got tons of inventory space left. Oh, look at this. Easy, dude. Easy. I could take more with me. Let's take the bowls. All right. Well, my inventory is very nearly full and that is basically all of the valuable items that we currently own. Yeah. Wow. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and start heading over to wherever we need to head, which I believe is in that direction, right? Yep. It is in that direction and the rain has stopped. Nice. All right. Well, let's start heading to the new base. Lo let's start heading to the new base location. Yeah. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> Okay, I have no idea whether you can actually do this in Terraforma Craft or not, but I'm willing to give it a go. Uh, let's craft these up into lumber. I want one, two, three, four. That is all of it, and I'm making a crafting table out of that. Boom, down there. Uh, I need a little bit more lumber. Oh, I, I only need one of those. Nope, okay, you can't craft a boat. What about out of blocks? Yes! Yes, you can make a boat. Oh, I wanted a boat so badly. All right, awesome. This is a life, eh? This is a life. Just going down a nice, relaxing river cruise in our boat. 
going to our new house location. Ready to move in. Well, okay, it's not ready to move in. I still need to, like, actually build the house. But, like, you know, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're on the way. At least we're cruising down the river. Oh, no way, dude. Okay. Something I was getting a little bit worried about with living over here is uh, if we head over into this area. I was worried about farming. I was worried because it goes, like, very high up with these cliffs on this side. We wouldn't be able to get any farming in. But look at this, dude natural little bit that comes through here that we can farm all through here oh this location if this location isn't perfect i don't know what is that's all i'm saying all right all right awesome so i am i made it as you could probably tell i'm over here and uh yeah i guess it's time to pick a location to build our house i'm kind of thinking up on this hill here because it kind of yeah we've got it going all the way around here and we can build a bridge across at some point as well. I think that would be quite neat. Um, but I think, yeah, this is probably a pretty good location for a house. Oh, apparently you can just like shift right click to like place one. And then you can shift right click all of the logs in at one time. Oh, that's quite neat. All right. Well, I've got a bit of an axe here. Just, just a little bit of an axe. And I'm going to chop down some of the surrounding trees because deforestation is always a good thing. <laughs> Look, this is Minecraft, all right? It's okay. It's it's accepted in the world of Minecraft, and it's needed because I'm going to need to clear a little bit of area here. We get a new type of wood as well, Sequoia. That's quite neat. Um, we're going to need some wood to build the house out of as well. Ah, what a beautiful, beautiful terra firma craft night. I'm really enjoying this mod pack. I'll tell you what, this is really, really fun. Uh, I've cleared out a bit of an area here, as you could probably tell, and I've laid out our all of our logs here so we got some chestnut we got oak we got spruce we got sequoia and we got birch they're our five types of wood at the moment we've got some more than others not gonna lie um but what i want to do here is i want to saw this into lumber and then make that into planks because i want to see what the plank texture of each of these look like mm, okay so these are the five types of wood we have we've got the chestnut over here we've got the oak we've got the spruce we've got the sequoia and we've got the birch the spruce and the birch look very different from the vanilla textures, I will say, but I think these are a lot closer to the real life textures. And birch is just as ugly as it is in vanilla, just in a bit of a different way. Yeah, okay. Uh, I think I like oak. Oak is a bit of a classic, like you can't really go wrong with oak. The spruce is decent. It's got like a bit of a pinkish tint to it, which I don't know how I feel about, but it's not terrible. Um, the birch, yeah, I don't like the birch that much. It's okay. Might be good for exterior stuff, but I can't see myself using that in an interior ever. It's a bit too eh, washed out for my liking. Um, but yeah, I think there's some pretty good wood types. And what does the cobblestone of this andesite look like? Okay, awesome. I can craft this cobblestone like this. Boom. Yeah, so this being our entire block palette is a little bit limiting. I'm not going to lie. We have a little bit more variation with this andesite cobble here. We can turn it into a few different things if we get a chisel. But for the moment, yeah, we don't have that many blocks, especially considering we only have one stone. The clay stone we have as well, but it's really ugly. I don't know whether I have any laying around. Yeah, let me just turn that into a block here. This is like porridge blocks, bro. That does not look nice. So I think I might do a little bit of exploring here and try and find at least some different types of stones. I think the direction I'm going to go is a little bit further north because we haven't really been, you know, that far north. I mean, we okay, we've been a lot far north, but like we haven't been further north. So I'm going to go further north. Yeah, that's the plan. We got Gabbro. Okay, Gabbro is good. Uh, I think that might be... Okay, that's andesite, that's andesite. Okay, so... Is this a Gabbro area, or is this just one singular patch of Gabbro? Because, yeah, that's andesite, that's andesite. What we've got all around here is andesite. Uh, yeah, there's literally andesite on top of this Gabbro. Yeah, so I think this is just one small patch of Gabbro. Interesting. Okay, well, I can mine this with the pickaxe that we have now. And I want to see, what do these blocks look like? <laughs> they look the same as the andesite. Okay. Well, I think we can use this to, like, maybe create some flux. Yeah, let me let me test that theory real quick. Uh, do I remember how to make a hammerhead? It was like that. Like that. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. And let's do this. I think this is how you make flux. If I do like that. No. Okay. Uh, limestone, dolomite, chalk, marble. I think they're the four you can use there. So not great. Gabbro. All right. Well, I'm going to keep searching for some rocks here, I think. <sighs> Look at this area, dude. I know it's a little bit dark. I apologize for that. But wow, this is beautiful. 
Man, can I move? <laughs> okay, no, I don't want to move. But wow, this is such a nice little area, dude. Man, this is so... Is that ice? What is that? Hang on. I'm going to have to jump down and investigate. Is that ice? I feel like it's not cold enough for that to be ice. It is ice. That is indeed an icicle. Okay. I didn't know we went that far north. <laughs> I figured we were in like a wintry type area or just a colder climate considering a lot of the berry bushes we were finding are like winter garden and snowberry, you know, like I, they, they sound pretty cold. Is that a zombie? Oh, I don't want to come across any zombies, dude. I'm not prepared for that. <laughs> not in this. I haven't seen any like normal mobs yet. I don't plan to either. Oh, marble. Oh, yes. I think marble was one of the things we can turn into flocks, right? If I remember correctly. Yes, it is. Okay, nice. We found some marble. That is awesome. Okay, um, well, yeah, I, I should probably do a little bit of digging here, get as much of this marble as I can, because we're going to need this stuff both for building, potentially, because I feel like marble will look quite nice. Yeah, it's a nice, like, white rock, and you can see this looks quite decent as well. Um, now, I want to test something, because I know this was a feature in old Terra Firma Craft. If I do that, and then that, so it's not supported by anything, yes, it drops the actual raw marble block itself. So that, that's quite cool. I want to do that as much as possible, I think. And it'll be quite easy to do that with these, right? Because I can just kind of go along here. Like, this should pop off. This should... Oh, actually, no, that won't pop off. But, um... <laughs> pop off. Yeah, okay. So both of those aren't supported by anything. But because there's two of them, they're not going to pop off. So I just need to, like, boop. There we go. Okay, so the sun has risen. And I'm realizing that this marble patch is a lot bigger than I thought it was. Yeah, I thought it might just... Oh, wow. Oh, wow, that goes really far down. Yeah, okay. So this is a lot of marble here. So we can definitely come back and mine this. I'm going to mark this as a marble mine here. Uh, so we can come back to this later if we need more marble. I don't, e I don't even know if I'm going to build with this stuff yet. So I'm going to just kind of hang on to that and just keep exploring here, I think. Let's keep going. Let's uh, continue to go north here and see if we can find any new rocks, like just any more rocks, because I'd like to find a darker one. That's kind of my goal at the moment, is to find a bit of a darker rock, but I, I don't know how we're going to go with that, but we'll see. Um, I'd also like to find a copper, like, vein. I'd like to find more copper, because I didn't show it. I cut it out of the video, because it didn't really go anywhere, but I tried to... Oh, we found an ocean. Oh, okay. Um, but anyway, I, um, I tried to dig down where we found the copper in the previous episode, I believe, which is, like, basically right below our base on the other side of the river. And there was nothing there. There was absolutely nothing there. There's more hematite here. There seems to be tons of hematite around, which is good. That'll be very good for the iron stage, but because hematite's iron, right? But not very good for copper because we don't have any copper. There's like none anywhere. So yeah, I'm a little bit worried about that, but it's fine. Uh, it's not the biggest deal in the world. The seaweed around. I think you can eat seaweed, right? Nope. Okay. It's just kind of there and it's raining again. Man, it cannot stop raining this world. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Man. Oh, I love the world generation in this so much. Like, I actually cannot get over it. You've got this really, really beautiful plateau here. If we look at the map, you can see this really, really nice plateau. And then it goes through this river here. This river just kind of cuts through and goes into this, which is so, like, foresty and beautiful. Oh, man. I, I know it's like, I know it's Minecraft and it's blocky and it's nothing like real life, but... I don't know, man. Just, it reminds me of areas I've seen in real life that kind of, like, feel similar. And it gives me a really good feeling, you know? And I, I don't know. I really, really like the generation in this mod. From the white sand to the black sand. Interesting. Does this mean there's a different stone type? Nope, it's still andesite. Damn it. <laughs> oh, I could hope. I could hope. This is quite nice, though. If I can get some of this, like, sandstone. Is there black sand sandstone? If I dig a little bit of this up here, just get four blocks and then combine them. Nope, you can't do that. Uh, what if I dig down a bit? Is there sandstone down here? There is. Ooh, this might be the darker block we were looking for, actually. Raw black sandstone. That's quite nice, I think. Maybe a little bit dark, but I kind of like it. What can we, like, make out of that, I wonder? Yeah, so there's, like, the smooth black and the cut black sandstone as well, which we need a chisel for, but that's... Yeah, I, I do... I do like that. Might have to, like, gather a bit of that stuff up. I'm not sure how I'm going to go about doing that without destroying the beach, but I might just have to destroy the beach. I don't know, man. Oh, yes, we found it. We found some copper, baby. All right, is there any... Yes, small sample. 
Give me more than a small sample, please. If it's just a small sample, I don't care. Medium? Oh, is it, is it underwater? Very large. Oh, my. Oh, that makes me happy. That makes me so unbelievably happy. We finally found a vein of copper. And it's underwater. But you know what? I don't care that it's underwater, all right? <laughs> we found a very large sample of native copper. All right, awesome. Well, I don't think we're going to get to mining that in today's episode. But I'm going to go ahead and not press F. I'm going to press J and set a waypoint here. Copper! <laughs> I think I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of digging of this uh, little black sand beach here. And then probably start heading back to our base. Okay, so I'm not going to lie. I got a little bit greedy and I'm mining for the copper. <laughs> Yo, I found it. Okay, nice. <laughs> I was like trying to look for it. It's only... Oh, no, it's rich. Oh, some of it is rich and some of it is poor. Okay. It used to be that you found a vein with all poor or all rich. Um, but I started mining some of the sandstone uh, over there, which I might go back to eventually. But I started mining some of that sandstone and realized like, you know what? I feel like it would be better if I just mine the sandstone over here with the chance of finding copper. And of course, I got further down and beyond the, <laughs> beyond the sandstone layer. And now we're in the andesite layer, but I found the copper. Oh my, look at this rich native copper. Oh, amazing. <laughs> so yeah, we um, are running pretty low in inventory space. I'm not going to lie. I can chuck out a couple stuff like this seaweed here. Just kind of get rid of that. But other than that... um. We don't have that much inventory space. I might try and just get the last of, you know, the vein or the last of this inventory slot of black uh, sandstone here. And then from there, I'm just going to flood our entire mine because you know what? Why not? Why not flood our entire mine? Oh, and there goes my torch again. I'm going to head back over to the sandstone mine I had over here, uh, which is all the way over here. I don't know. I started digging over here then realized, you know what? Maybe I should like turn around and go back because... Yeah, the method I was using to mine the sandstone is basically the same as I was uh, as I would use to mine like anything else, right? So let me head down here and oh, I never placed a support. I was going to, but I guess I never did. Okay, well let's place a support in here. If you don't know how the mining supports work, basically if we just dig out a small section here, then we can place down these chestnut supports. Boom, boom, boom. Which you make them by crafting uh, like that, right? That's how you make them. I'm going to keep that in log form for now. And uh, that'll support up all blocks, like even sand gets supported if you do that. So yeah, it's quite handy. Um, I'm going to fill up the rest of this inventory slot, I think, which should only go to 32 and that'll only take a second. So I may as well just do it on camera here, I guess. And this will be a really, really good black sandstone mine. This will be like very, very easy to mine. This stuff is super, super quick. And now we've got tons of the stuff. So yeah, that'll be quite handy for, you know, helping to build our house along with the marble and along with the andesite. So yeah, and even the gabbro if we want, but it looks the same as the andesite and there's not much of it. So, you know, what's the point? Uh, but anyway, I have a decent amount of items here. I think we're gonna head back to base and we'll pick it back up there. All right, well, as the sun sets over there, the sun set quite a while ago, actually. It's, it's a decent bit into the night here, but um, I'm going to go ahead and end off today's episode of Terra Firma Create. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I really hope you're enjoying the series as well. I'm having a really good time recording it and putting it together. These episodes don't take too, too long to make, and that's kind of why I've been keeping motivation with like continuing it. But also, I'm just really excited to get more into this mod pack. That's the main reason why I've been really, really motivated for this series. I want to get more into Terra Firma Craft, and I want to get into the Create stuff. Yeah, so we might do a little bit of Create stuff in the next episode, I'm not sure. I was looking into it a little bit, and we can afford to do stuff like, I think it's called a, yeah, a milling machine, or a millstone. Yeah, millstone. We can make this, because we can make the shafts with uh, just the stone and the chisel, which we can make a chisel, so... I might do that in the next episode, but also we do kind of need a house, so I might do that. I, I don't know. We'll see what we, we we'll see how we go. See what I feel like doing. But um, yeah. Anyway, let me know what you think of the series, as always. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end this one off here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. <laughs> oh, that beautiful timing right there. <laughs>